Okay, so now this is just an exercise for coordination and it helps a lot with uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs. I don't know if you're watching my left hand there, uh, but it's just the first step, then four, three, two, one, then one, four, three, four, two, four, three, four. Right, then you just move it up the neck. Now, as you actually practice this, uh, also try to practice it when you are hammering and pulling. So one hammer to two, three hammer to four, four pull to three, then two to one, then one hammer to four, three hammer to four, two hammer to four, three hammer to four. Now the trick on the hammer-ons and the pull-offs is to not pull your fingers out to the stratosphere. Now you probably notice that there is a tendency when you hammer, hammer to two, of your hand to just move up. That's what we're trying to control, not allow our fingers to just reactionally move completely away. Right? Right, there's still a reaction, but you cannot allow it to be so much so that you get into a stratosphere as you're doing this. Now the, the the etude that really is the uh, you know the ultimate test for this type this type of, of practicing is Villa Lobos etude number three, where you actually do this kind of thing. Right. So a lot of people tend to do. that stuff, right? So try to keep it control. Right, that was a hinge bar, but there's going to be another tutorial for below was three, uh, but I hope that that little exercise helps a little bit.